Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about Kisumu City, Kisumu Port Construction, construction of Kenya shipyard in Kisumu with capacity to build ships, and also the construction of ships in Kisumu City including MV Uhuru 1 and MV Uhuru 2. If you're new to my YouTube channel and you love development videos, kindly like and subscribe. <music> Kisumu is the third largest city in Kenya after Nairobi and Mombasa with a metro area population of over 1.2 million people. Kisumu city is currently one of the fastest growing cities in East Africa including booming real estate, increased tourism as a result of development of several high-end hotels and resorts. Some of the most notable uh, hotels and resorts in Kisumu city include Ciala Resort, Imperial Sarova Hotel, the Grand Royal Swiss Hotel and so on. The other reasons for increased tourism in Kisumu City include the beautification of Kisumu City by the county government of Kisumu, led by Governor Anyang Nyongo, especially the painting of all buildings in the city to blue and white, making the city more beautiful and attractive to tourists. <music> Meanwhile, Kisumu Port Rehabilitation started in February 2019 at a cost of 3 billion Kenyan shillings. The construction works included concreting of the port yard, construction of the choir side, repairs of the link span, repairs of the dry dock, and rehabilitation of all buildings. All roads around and within the port facility were also repaired. The port was also equipped with, among others, forklift trucks, mobile cranes, and tractor trailers. The Kisumu oil jetty was also constructed at the port at the cost of 2 billion Kenyan shillings to enable the loading of oil for transportation to Uganda and Tanzania via ships. <music> Tunaendelea na shughuli ya kurekebisha bandari hii ya Kisumu. Bandari hii ya Kisumu ndio ilikuwa roho ya Nyanza na ndio ilikuwa senta ya biashara katika nchi zote ambazo zinazunguka Lake Victoria hapa. Lakini wengine wakaruhusu ifilisike. Tumesema ya kwamba hiyo bandari tutairudisha Ianze kufanya kazi tena muji wa Kisumu uwe ndiyo utakuwa muji wa biashara meli ziwe zinaingia hapa vijana wetu waweze kupata kazi tukikuwa na port tunasikia raha sana hata kwa nyumba yangu huko pia watu nasikia raha kwa sababu 
ninafanya hapa na nafanya hapa na napelekea watoto tena chakula kwa nyumba She building started in Kenya as way back in 1901 1902 the main reason was for movement of goods as well as people mostly from Mombasa all the way to the uh, eastern africa and central africa and this went on well until uh, 1965 and thereafter the activity of ship building declined to the extent that in the early 80s would now have to import new uh, fleets uh, or new ships Kenya Shipyards Limited was incorporated in September 2020 to lead and catalyze the introduction of shipbuilding industry in East Africa with a focus on meeting the local demand from Kenya Navy, ministries departments and agencies with maritime assets and other public and private domestic and regional clients. Kenya Shipyards Limited is supposed to catalyze shipbuilding both in the country as well as in the Eastern African region. And we are looking at this an African region because we are a community that are connected together in terms of requirements especially in terms of security requirements. Kenya Shipyards Limited key partnerships have enabled regional and global cooperation leading to the realization of its full potential. Shipbuilding is an assembly industry. So you cannot do it without having partners. And we want to focus on partners that are going to support the other pillars so that we bring in value of cost effectiveness we bring in value of quality bring in value of professionalism we are engaging with damen in the initial partnership of the actual construction so we are jointly constructing with them with a view to building the capacity of our personnel within the two years that i'm here we have established from nothing to a complete whole and what is in normal with a ship with these dimensions the expectations were or the planning was that it was around 36 months so with the effort from all the local people from the KSL that we have reduced it up to 80 months and that is a huge huge performance if you consider there was in this yard nearly to nothing only the dock itself and that we used every square meter on this yard to get all the panels laid out every pipe system and we get all electrical on board within the 18 months and that is something to be proud of in future we want to bring in partners that will look at the various aspects of shipbuilding from funding technical support to the actual shipbuilding the construction itself we are going to see ourselves bring in more partners especially the local institutions in terms of uh, capacity building and also international and uh, regional partners we want to start attracting the various industries that um, will contribute to the various packages that are required by KSL we've already started engaging with Devki in terms of steel because ship building is steel and the reason why we're engaging with them is that the qualities that are required especially for marine gate steel is slightly different from what is required for construction We have discussions with the numerical machining complex in terms of just production of the various components and parts. We are also engaging with the other stakeholders in the blue economy so that we look at the blue economy holistically in terms of legal requirements, in terms of incentives that spur the blue economy, in terms of tools and equipments that uh, require blue economy and synergy in terms of the various stakeholders. This promotes knowledge, technology, best practices and skills transfer to those employed and achievement of major milestones the first one is in terms of uh, just upgrade of the various infrastructures that support ship building as well as construction so in mombasa we have constructed a facility that is uh, capable of uh, handling up to 4000 tons in terms of weight and 115 tons of meter both for construction of new ships refit and repair of ships as well as maintenance of the same We've also upgraded this yard. We upgraded it in five months, and now construction is being undertaken. So one area that we have already so far engaged in is in terms of uh, upgrade of the facilities and infrastructures that support shipbuilding. The second is actual shipbuilding activity in the areas of construction. We are already constructing a ship here, a wagon ferry, which is uh, 
uh, 100 meters in length and will be capable of transporting up to 2 million liters of fuel or cargo, whichever way, if you convert into kilograms. We are already uh, modernizing a warship for the Kenya Navy, which is ongoing and which is going to be commissioned in the next uh, two months. MV Uruan was revived by the shipyard in 2019. And so far, the demand is huge and cannot be satisfied by MV Uruan. So the previous government then decided immediately to construct the second one. So MV Uru 2 principally is just to actually take care of the demand that cannot be met by MV Uru 1. After the successful repair and reconstruction of MV Uhuru 1, which is currently transporting oil products from Kisumu to Uganda, Kenya Shipyards Limited in Kisumu started construction of MV Uhuru 2, making Kenya the pioneer shipbuilding nation in Africa and Kisumu City an industrial ships construction port city. vessel upon completion will be 100 meters long with a carrying capacity of up to 22 wagons and an estimated capacity of 2 million liters of crude oil per trip. MV Uhuru 2 upon completion will be first ship made in Kenya by Kenyans with an estimated construction cost of up to 2.4 billion Kenyan shillings, hence saving approximately over 1 billion Kenyan shillings that would have been used more if the ship would have been imported. Over 1,000 people have been employed in the construction of MV Uhuru 2, helping to improve the living standards of people from Kisumu City. Furthermore, majority of the resources used in its construction have been sourced from the county, helping grow the economy of Kisumu County. <music> Tanzania is also in the process of constructing a cruise ship that will carry tourists from Tanzania to Uganda and Kenya, hence opening up the Lake Victoria region to more tourism fortunes.
personal opinion, I hope the standard gauge railway will one day get to Kisumu so that goods will be transported from Mombasa to Kisumu via train, then loaded on ships to Uganda, hence reducing the damage to our roads and saving on the cost of repair and maintenance of the roads. <music> And as for the people of Kisumu city, you should take good advantage of this facility to modernize your fishing boats and ships to increase your catch and revenue. I also urge my fellow Luo people to move back to Kisumu city and invest in real estate, shopping malls, hotels, and help grow our home counties instead of investing in Nairobi, Nakuru, and Mombasa, while our hometowns and cities remain empty and dilapidated. It is time that we Luo people also build our cities and towns to a desirable level whereby we don't have to travel and move thousands of kilometers or hundreds of kilometers to search for jobs and employment. I also want to thank the government of Uru Kenyatta because while it was in power, it made sure that uh, Kisumu City and Luo Nyanza as a whole actually get a, got a share of development in Kenya. Otherwise, thank you for watching this far. Thank you for always supporting my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and comment below what you think so far about this ship the first ship construction in Kenya. Enjoy and thank you. Thank you.